Hi guys, this is Cindy Leach, your Polymer Clay Tutor, and today in the PCT Test Lab, we are testing Ranger's Glossy Accents on Polymer Clay. Now, those of you who have been around, you know that I like to test different products and see how they are compatible with Polymer Clay, and we are testing the Ranger's Glossy Accents, which is generally used in scrapbooking and that type of thing, but it is a clear dimensional medium. Now, I've got a sample here. Um, I've got a, a piece of baked Primo clay that had a bit of a gold leaf texture or gold leaf added to it and I thought I'd put this uh, finish on it and it, as you can see it is very glossy and we did it I did it back um, let's see in January at the beginning of January so it's been more than a couple of months and so we know that that's enough time to um, to know whether it's compatible or not. And I put two coats on, and so you can see that it um, is fairly thick, but if you put a, you could put an even thicker layer on if you wanted it to dome on anything that was sort of textured or not. It is flexible, it won't chip or peel or anything, and after that amount of time, I can see that it is not sticky or anything, so it is compatible. Now, it is, very similar, in my opinion, to the product we tested a little while ago called the Aileen's Jewelry Pendant Gel. Um, it is the same kind of flexibility, the same kind of shine to it. It does a similar thing, like if you press your fingernail into it, you can leave a dent in it, but uh, uh, over a little bit of time, it seems to work its way out. So it's um, kind of a semi-flexible type thing. Um, it doesn't seem to scratch up too much or anything, so it looks like it's going to be a good product for polymer clay. Price-wise, um, okay, here in Canada our prices are a little different, but this was about $11 at Michael's, and this is about $8. I believe in the States it's about $8 for the uh, Aileen's and $5 for the um, Glossy Accents. There's two, four ounces in the Aileen's and two ounces here. So it really depends on um, which you think is a better deal. I mean, volume-wise, the uh, Aileen's is a better deal, but you might not be able to find it as easily as the Glossy Accents, and you may not need as much of it, so it's really up to you. They're, I'm finding them to be very, very similar products. Now, um, as far as using it, uh, what you do is just, just uh, squeeze it out of the bottle here. It goes, it's fairly clear to start off with. It's a very similar to the Aileen's as far as it looks slightly milky, but not too much. You can go around the edge of your project um, and then uh, fill it in. Now, depending on your thickness that you put it on will, depend on, will depend on how quickly it dries and how domed it looks. But you can put it on quite thick. It's, it's meant for that. Now, as far as any bubbles or things like that, you can use a little pin and pop them or drag them out to the edge. I like to always use a pin when I'm putting um, a finish on like this because then I can drag it right out to the edges and make sure that it's um, going all the way around quite nicely. I'd spend a little bit more time on it than that. And then um, you just let it dry. Just I'm gonna check for little bubbles, that kind of thing. It doesn't seem to um, pull away from the edges or anything like that, which is a good thing. And what I would do is let it sit over 24 hours at least before you start messing around with it. And because uh, it's a wet surface, what I suggest is whenever you're doing anything with a finish on a on a piece, just put a little lid over it so that you're not letting dust settle onto the wet surface and then. Uh, staying there forever. So I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, please let us know if you like this video. And um, if you have a suggestion for a product you'd like me to test in the PCT Test Lab, make sure to leave those in the comment section below. And if you have any other suggestions for videos that you'd like me to share with you, I'd love to hear from you. So we'll see you next time and bye for now.